Hi, my name is Bates. I'm with Gallup Technology Group. And on this video, we're going to talk about email encryption. So with Microsoft 365, there is going to be three ways where you can encrypt email. One of them is manually by open, opening an email and choosing the encrypt button on the Outlook new email window. The other option is to use Microsoft DLP, data loss prevention, which is going to require you to actually log in to the back end, your Microsoft admin portal and set up specific um, types of information that you want Microsoft to detect on your emails and automatically encrypt the email if those rules are met. For example, if Microsoft recognizes that you have a um, social security number or a number that has the same structure as social security or a credit card number or a birth date, those are type of rules or uh, requirements that you can put into your Microsoft account to force your emails to be encrypted and then not leave it up to your employees to choose to encrypt an email and maybe forget to do so when they include sensitive information. And the last option to encrypt an email with Microsoft 365 without paying anything extra if you have the right licenses for it is to set up a key phrase or a specific keyword that will trigger Microsoft to detect those keywords or the phrase in the subject line of your email and then encrypt that outgoing email based on that rule. On this video, we're going to talk about just the latter, the third option, how to uh, set up an encrypted email based on the subject line, special characters or phrase that we're going to determine. We're not going to go over the back end of how to set it up. There's another video that we created. I'm going to put the link to it on the description of this video. But there is uh, going to be a need for you to know how to explain your team and how to remember yourself uh, the best way to send an encrypted email. And the reason why we choose that route is because, in my opinion, it is much easier to not rely just on Outlook to send encrypted emails. If you use that key phrase on the subject line, then you can send an email from a tablet, iPad, whatever it is, or from your cell phone, of course, sending an encrypted email from there just by putting that those special characters on the subject line of the email. Otherwise, if you don't set it up and you just rely on pushing the encrypt button, which I'm going to show you in this video in a second, you can only do that from Outlook uh, on the web or Outlook on your computer. So let's dive into it real quick now. So let's start by opening a new email. And let's say I'm sending the email from my uh, normal address to a test um, Yahoo account that I have. So option one that I told you about is if you go to options and you find the encrypt button over here with a couple of other options um, as well, you can prevent people from forwarding the email or mark it as confidential, view only, etc. Um, this is option one I told you about. Option two is setting up predefined rules on your Microsoft 365 admin portal. But option three to send an encrypted email is, as I said, simply by adding specific characters that were pre-configured on your Microsoft tenant and allowing Microsoft to recognize that you're trying to send an email that's encrypted. So in our case, what we did is we set up that every time we have the tilde sign three times on the subject line of the email, followed by whatever, or just those three tilde signs, Microsoft is then triggering this email to be sent in an encrypted way. So for example, uh, testing one, two, three, and uh, this is a test. You can attach pictures, you can attach attachments, whatever you want to do, and you simply send this email. All we did, as you can see, is just added the three tilde signs. Um, we recommend, by the way, not using an encrypted um, trigger word that's going to be hard to remember. For example, some of our clients say that they want to use the word encrypt. That's fine. If you want to put the word encrypt in the subject line for Microsoft to recognize that, that's great. But what if you got confused and you say, was uh, and you type in the word encrypted or encryption? If you don't type exactly the word encrypt, the email is going to be sent unencrypted. So it has to match exactly the phrase that was set up on the back end. So we obviously had to pre-configure the three tildes to be the trigger phrase or the trigger keyword to trigger the email to be sent encrypted. Now that we do, I can just add that to the subject line of any email I send from any device, as long as it's coming from my 
Microsoft 365 email address and I'm going to click on send. On the other end of it, if I open my junk Yahoo email account, you're going to see over here that my recipient, which is still me, of course, got an email and they see the three tildes, etc. But when they open the email, this is what they see. This is what's different. In order for them to actually read the message, they're going to need to click over here. And this is what your recipient is going to show, is going to see. And they will be required to sign in with a one time passcode. Yahoo has their own method as well, but it doesn't really matter uh, that your recipient is going to be requested to receive a code that's going to be emailed to them to verify that nobody got their hands on this specific link. Because if somebody stole this link or if this link, if this email was forwarded to somebody and that somebody is trying to read your encrypted message, they will have to come back to your inbox over here to get that one time code that is sent from Microsoft. There it is. So I'm going to copy this paste it over here you can set it up as a private computer to remember it for 12 hours and only then your recipient will be able to see the actual email now that they're opening the email over here they can reply to it and when they reply to it remember we're out of the Yahoo platform right now your recipient your client your vendor whoever you sent this encrypted email to is now opening this email and communicating with you through Microsoft platform. And this is the only way that actually keeps it actually an encrypted secured email. So they're gonna write, thanks, my password is 1234, my social security number is blah, blah, blah. So they can write whatever they want over here and send it back to you. Um, and that will be sent in an encrypted secured way. So sending this email now, we're going to close this message and going back to the recipient, your client or whatnot, and they will be able to get a copy of it over here. And once they open this email again, they can see their reply and all the communication on that email chain. They will not be able to see that here on their Yahoo because that's the whole point of encrypting that data. So nobody can just log into their Yahoo account and see all of that information. And that's really about it. Pretty simple. If you have any questions, you know how to reach us. Here's the information. Thanks, guys.